how do you slice a mesh in Unreal? Like this. This is all you need. I will walk you through it, but if you're just here for the guts, here's the guts. Right, so we've got this thing called a procedural mesh, and it has all sorts of handy dandy nodes like slice procedural mesh. But you can't tell it what mesh you'd like to proceed with. It just isn't clickable. Maybe there's a way to do it, but I've never found that out. Instead, we use this copy procedural mesh from static mesh component node. For that, we're going to need a static mesh component. I've gone ahead and added a cube to our blueprint. And uh, I've set the cube as invisible and non-colliding, because I don't want it to interfere with our sliced mesh version. So all we do is, when we're constructing this, we copy that cube into the procedural mesh, and then we slice it. It's that easy. And of course, it works just fine. See? Just uh, do whatever you need to, right? No big deal. This can be easily extended into a lot of different things. For example, here is a hallway sort of thing that I built. And this is the same basic setup, but it uses a world object as its cut plane. Let me go ahead and use that cone there. And you can see that we filled it partially with water. And if we want to go in and play with it, we can. Splish splash. It doesn't splash or anything. That is a different tutorial, but it works fine. And this is built just by having the interior of this hallway be an object that can be sliced, a solid object that can be sliced. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, as you can see. And uh, that's that. Uh, there are a lot of tutorials that say you're going to need a CPU access toggle. That is incorrect, as far as I can tell. Uh, that applies to modifying instanced meshes, not to modifying procedural instant meshes, if you see the difference there. Um, all of these have their CPU access toggle turned off and it works fine. So you really don't need anything complicated. That's, that's how it works. Have a good one.